Are you struggling to complete your 16 rounds while balancing your college studies? Don't worry, you are not alone. Many of us have been there. Hare Krishna, Mohini Madhavi here. By Krishna's mercy and the blessings of great Vaishnavas, I've been chanting 16 rounds of Hare Krishna mantra for 19 years now while doing my master's degree and bachelor's degree. In this video, I want to share how I managed to balance college life with my Krishna consciousness and how you can do the same. I'll give you four practical tips to help you complete your 16 rounds even with a hectic college schedule. And if you stick around until the end, I have a bonus tip just for you. First tip is break it down into four parts. One way to stay on a track is divide your japa into smaller sessions throughout the day. Four rounds, for example, after you wake up, four rounds during lunch, four rounds after college, and four rounds before going to sleep. Even Srila Prabhupada, who had an extremely busy life during his Grihastha years, managed his rounds this way, breaking them into parts to ensure completion. When I was a student, I'd often stay up late with assignments and wake up feeling exhausted making it hard to complete more than four to six rounds in the morning. Dividing it up helped me stay consistent. I'm sure some of you or many of you are in this condition. Second tip is carry a tally counter. If you feel shy chanting on your beats at college, use a tally counter. You can still chant discreetly during your lunch break without drawing attention. I used to carry both my japamala and a counter, so I could switch depending on the environment. Coming from a country where Hinduism was strange to most people, I avoided drawing unnecessary attention to myself, but still kept my sadhana intact. Third tip is get weekly inspiration. Don't miss Sunday programs, please. Sunday programs are your fuel for the week. They provide spiritual strength, association, and inspiration. When I was in college, Sunday programs were my lifeline. I stayed in a dormitory with roommates who ate meat, watched movies late into the night, and had a lifestyle that wasn't conducive to my spiritual practice. But attending Sunday programs kept me connected and gave me the spiritual strength to stay on a track during the week. I also have a video on how to maximize spiritual bliss from attending Sunday programs linked here or somewhere here. Fourth tip is chant prayfully. Remember Krishna is always listening. Pray while chanting that he helps you complete your runs attentively. Krishna can make things easier for you, whether it's skipping an unexpected debate at home, a teacher not assigning extra work, or a chatty friend finding someone else to talk to, Krishna is clever and he can clear the way for you. And the bonus tip is never give up. Even when things get tough, never give up on your rounds. And Krishna will reward you for your determination. Think of Dhru Maharaj. His determination to find Krishna despite being a mere child, he didn't let Narada Muni's advice to wait stop him or the resolve of Haridas Thakur, who told his enemies that they could cut his body into pieces, but each piece would continue chanting the holy names. Such a dedication was rewarded immensely by the Lord. Similarly, if you persist with your rounds, Krishna will bless you in unimaginable ways. Never give up. If you want to know how to chant the Hare Krishna mantra correctly and deepen your spiritual practice, I've linked another video for you right here or somewhere here.